Hello there. Well, today I've got a painting on the go and I've drawn it out on, straight onto the canvas uh, and then I'm going to cover it with uh, a, a, an acrylic wash just to seal in that pencil drawing. Acrylic is very useful as an underpainting under oil. You can't do it the other way around. You can't put oil on top of acrylic, but uh, the acrylic dries very quickly uh, and it's very useful. Uh, you can build up some of the darks and, and some of the basic colours. A lot of people would use uh, acrylic and finish the painting. Um, I'm never quite comfortable with a paint that dries so rapidly, though it's extremely useful um, for this underpainting because it does dry rapidly. Um, I do find that the oils, I can mould them while they're still um, wet uh, and even as they get a little bit tackier they can be really good to sort of uh, move around all i do with the acrylic i i just put on a bit of cardboard uh, and have some water so i can thin it, and it I, these are not um the colors that i would use in the painting itself uh but they're just marking where the, the trees and certain features are and um, this particular beech tree does lend itself to uh, putting uh, some animals. I mean, I've chosen to put pigs this time, but uh, last time I painted it, I actually had a, a couple of ponies. Anyway, uh, we'll see how we get on. Now I've speeded up this part of the painting. Uh, I don't want to sort of bore anyone too much, but you can see all I'm doing is putting some sort of light, building up light washes of acrylic. Um, still trying to uh, retain the detail of the, of the drawing. Now I shall let it dry from here and, um, and then I shall start the oil which is the, the real business uh, of the painting. It's always uh, very nervous for me at this stage. I, I really do not know where I'm going. I'm dying to get on to the, the beech tree which is the main feature because there's so much uh, detail and, and, and colour in there and I want the background to be fairly light because it's, it's just the tree and possibly the pigs that are going to be the main feature in the painting. Now I, I worked uh, the oils onto this painting uh, for several days so you're going to see a bit of a jump. Um, but the painting isn't finished even at this stage um, there's all sorts of little details uh, of composition uh, where I'm altering little bits and pieces there's a close-up of the uh, of the trunk of the tree and you can see those lovely mosses and lichens uh, and there's the pigs I have used this sort of set of pigs before because it's in quite a nice sort of composition Anyway, then I make a frame at this stage because even though it's not quite finished, I do like to see what it would look like in a frame. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this short video. Goodbye for now.